Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a uh, Docker to run uh, leaf map. So I just edited the uh, Docker image and published a uh, uh, leaf map on uh, Docker Hub. So now you can just uh, use Docker. You just basically use leaf map in a Docker container. So that makes it really easy for you to uh, reproduce the environment. And so you have not heard about Docker. Uh, it's basically a software that allows you to uh, package your program and your software and then so they can run on any platform so if you just google docker you should be able to um find a website and then you can download the docker program and install it on your computer and once it's installed you can run a lot of software uh, without having to um uh, uh, for example create a contact environment and try to install the dependency because a lot of software right now are available uh, as a docker image so you can just pull the image and then you can run on any platform especially for some programs that only runs on a certain platform, for example, Linux, uh, it might be challenging for you to set up the environment and then install the packages on Windows. But using Docker, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, everything is already uh, packaged. So you can basically run a Docker container on top uh, of your operating system. Once you install, then you can just use one command line uh, to run leaf map. I'm going to show you how to do that. If you go to the website leafmap.org and then uh, click installation on the right here just select uh, use docker so you'll be able to just run this one command line uh, to uh, use docker so this one is going to pull the docker image from docker hub so if you click the link uh, it should take you to the docker hub here but it's also available on github uh, the registry uh, uh, repository so if you go to the leaf map uh, GitHub repository, and if you click uh, packages and then click leaf map, you should also be able to find it. So it's uh, available on both uh, uh, platforms, and you can use whichever you uh, prefer. And so I'm going to show you uh, how to use this one. So just copy the line. This one essentially tells Docker to uh, pull the container and also run it interactively, and it's also going to also export uh, uh, expose the port. Uh, um, it, 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 uh, locally and also within the docker container so that we can actually access uh, the Jupyter notebook if you want to learn like uh, how that docker uh, image was created uh, there's a docker file here on the github repository so basically i use the uh, Jupyter scipy notebook uh, base image and then i install leafmap geopandas local type server os mnx then i copy some of the notebook examples and then uh, just run the notebook so this is how the docker image was created so next uh, just simply uh, open the uh, terminal and then copy this one then you can, uh, after you install the docker so make sure that you just type docker you should be able to see the command so i'm running it on uh, linux and uh, if you're on windows or others uh, should be pretty much uh, similar so i'm just going to just copy and paste this line and then hit enter then just click this thing it's able to to be able to open the uh, Jupyter lab so this is what it looks like as you can see uh, now i don't need to create a conda environment i just uh, use the one command line and then it should launch so it's going to basically uh, pull the environment if this is the first time it might take some time for you to pull the docker image to a uh, computer and then build the uh run it in the docker container and once it's finished then you see i copy some of the notebook example here it's just double click then you should be able to run any examples um so let me see how about uh maybe this one 49 right so as you can see now it's just just click one all it's able to run and use so i don't need to install the packages anymore you just use the docker container uh you can run it on any platform so all the dependencies have been uh, utilized so if you see here right you can create something like this pretty easy and how about the last one here these are all using uh, this map, uh, the split map. So you can easily create maps and you can compare uh, them side by side, right? Different years, so you can see the changes uh, of the landscape. You're welcome to uh, try out any examples. So most of them work. Uh, I have not included all the dependencies because I want to make the Docker image like not too big. Um, and uh, But if there's any additional dependency that needed, uh, you are welcome to just um, install additional pack uh, dependencies using the pip install uh, but by default it should already have um, most of the dependencies right so you can create maps you can create legends uh, you can do it pretty 
uh, easily using leaf map, just a couple lines of code. Uh, similarly, if you want to use uh, Gmap, you can also do the same thing. So I also add a uh, Gmap uh, Docker container, uh, Docker image. So if you go to gmap.org and then installation, use Docker. So again, this is very much similar. So at the end here, you just copy this line, and this is going to pull the latest uh, Docker image from Docker Hub. And then you can just do this, run the same thing uh, without having to set up the Conda environment and also try to install the packages uh, because sometimes it doesn't work. So the Docker image uh, is built on top of uh, Linux. And so, but you can run it on Mac, on Windows, and also on Linux computer. So this is how it, um, um, it will be useful, especially if you're uh, having difficulty trying to set up the environment. Okay, so that's all for this uh, video. I hope you find it useful. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.